Back in the Cape, SA Rugby Legends TV had the honour to chat to one of South Africa's living rugby legends, the much respected and loved Doc Moss, who recently celebrated the launch of his autobiography, My Life in Rugby. With a rugby history that started as a nine-year-old at Saks, Doc went on to not only play, but coach the UCT, Western Province and Springbok rugby teams and become mentor and guide to some of the country's leading former players. Well, I was very fortunate to have had a long stay in rugby. I started as a, as a young student at university and then I went into the army and I came back, finished my course and went to Natal and then I was very lucky to be able to coach varsity for 10 years and then I went with Western Province. Uh, I was there a long time, almost 20 years, and then finally the last 10 years I did uh, the Springboks. And uh, when I was talked into writing the book, I went to see Paul Dobson, a great rugby historian, and he said, look, there is a story here. And uh, one of the ladies helped me and uh, that's how it was founded. Doc's book is a treasure trove of memorable moments from his career, including how he actually became a rugby coach. One day Dr. Babra phoned me and said, look, uh, the university team, the coach can't to go up to, uh, to Rhodesia in those days. Would you like to go? So I said, I'd love to go because my brother was a, gyne was a gynecologist in Rhodesia and I hadn't seen him for a few years. And that's how it started in uh, 1966. And we had a good tour and then after that, when I came back, they, the university said, well, we want you to be the coach for the next, for the next year. So I started then. And then finally in, in 74, uh, I had three Springboks in my, in my university side, which was Chris Pope, uh, Peter Whip, and Dougal MacDonald, which was really nice. And I also met some marvelous people like Ian and Roy McCullum, uh, Ian was a medical student and uh, I always remember him because when it came to September he would always come and see me and say, Doc, you lock me up in my room for the next two months because I haven't been doing much studying and we, that, was, that became a ritual every year. And after those sort of 10 years at varsity I, I, I became Western Province selector and then I, I met another great man, Boy Lowe, who was chairman of the Western Province selection. And I was just a young, young varsity man, and he taught me how to run a, how to run a selection committee, how to be impartial towards people, and how to look after people. And so, when when Western Province started, I was a member of the committee, and then when uh, when Boy retired, I became chairman of uh, of Western Province. And after about ten or fifteen years of Western Province. I was uh, elected onto the National Committee and uh, there I met, the, um, I met Professor Don Suichers who, who died recently, a marvellous chap as well from Northern Transvaal and uh, I became a member of the, of the Selection Committee and uh, then Professor Suichers said to me when, when we met, look you're the youngest of the Selection Committee, you must be the coach and that's how I got into the Springbok, Springbok setup and I must say they were, they were very good to me. Uh, I was a, an English-speaking man, I was from the South, I was an IT, but still they, they accepted me. But then like everything in life, you know, you come to realize, look, it's uh, now 1989, and uh, I think there were many other people do, who were able to follow in my steps. And, uh, and that was my sort of panorama of, uh, of being a student, involved with varsity, involved with Western Promise, involved with Springboks, my Life in Rugby is a limited edition release. For more information about the book, contact UCT's rugby club, uctrfc.co.za.